All right, welcome. I'm You're Melissa welcome. Thomas, and this is Susan Rutherford, <laughs> and we're very excited to uh, be hosting another stamp camp. Um, Susan and I have hosted stamp camps for several years now, yes. right? And um, and this is the first video we're doing together because we have quite a few folks this time who took the kit to go, and we wanted to show you the projects you're making. Um, you have the PDFs. And you're all very brilliant people, and I'm sure you can figure them out. But we're going to just walk you through them. I'm going to show you anyway. Yeah. And then if you are coming and you're interested, um, we like to do these on three-day weekends. We like a Monday. So we'll be doing it again on Labor Day, most likely. Yeah. So Labor Day, MLK Day, and Memorial Day are kind of the three times a year that we do them. Um, we do them at Bella Vita in Wimberley. Um, today we're in my studio in Dripping Springs because we have been prepping for the last oh. couple of hours and eating lunch and talking and doing all the things, right? Um, and our stamp camps coordinate with the uh, coming out of a new catalog too. So that's part of our timing. And a lot of the fun is a chance to use some of the new products. Yeah, so. which I love. Yeah. Um, we decided to do this one all themed around the color refresh. So Stampin' Up! came out with a whole bunch of colors. Some they brought back. So we knew them maybe from years past. Um, some of them are brand new to us. Um, and then we got new in colors. So we decided that today would be uh, our stamp camp would be all about color. Uh, and so for those of you not joining us in person, we are doing a rainbow salad. So you are missing out on the rainbow salad bar. Um, but we hope you'll have some fun with um, what we've packed. So Susan's going to open up the packet and kind of show you all the goodies. Okay. So in the morning, we've got, uh, you have a, uh, we included a set of the uh, catalog tabs, um, and they come in some of the new colors, um, pecan pine, lemon lolly, lemon lime twist, boho blue, um, bubble bath. These are blank, so you can actually write your own tabs. Um, there are all the languages for all the markets in here, so obviously use the ones that make sense to you. Um, but it's nice to be able to take the tabs off and tab your catalog because then you can find stuff a whole lot easier. So for so our gift to you. Yeah, I was like fun little gift. So, and then we included a full pack of uh, the sequins. And you all, the, the, all the sequins in the new catalog that are new are so beautiful. And we've been talking about, you don't necessarily know that when you look at the catalog, you don't realize how great these are. And this is a a good example of that because these are just beautiful and they match everything for the morning and the afternoon. The two parts of the class that, that you are taking, you can use these for both. Yeah. So yeah. enjoy, enjoy. These are called um, the pastel adhesive bank, but the pastel is the word. You know. Yeah. And it's interesting. There's, I think, 400, 300 in here. There's plenty. So you can, and I love that it looks very specific, but it matches all of the new in colors. It goes well with the in colors, the new colors, the core colors, the bubble bath. Um, I feel like, and the gold, of course, goes with everything. So, and I just feel like they were under undersold in the catalog. Like mm -hmm. you don't see how pretty they are. So I'm excited about that. So, yay. Okay, so there's that. So we want to do. Um, yeah, why don't you open that up? All right. Another little gift for you is this case to hold all your things. And so we have some ribbon for one of the cards. Let's see, you want to talk about Yeah, this? the acetate paper. So there's three different kinds of acetate paper. This is the one that has kind of the sprinkles falling down. There's one that has like bouquet dots, and then there's one that has um, balloons on it. And so everybody got a different piece, but we're going to use it for one of the cards, and we'll show that, that to you. This um, so you can see it. Yeah, yeah, it's really pretty. So hopefully you like that, and if you if it appeals to you, you can get more of that paper. Um, but it's a new a new specialty paper in the new catalog. And then we like these cases for storage. They're great for storing memories and more, but also mm -hmm. for I use it for embellishments. Um, and you use it for paper pumpkin. Paper pumpkin storage. So because with paper pumpkin, you uh, get a cover page and you can just put your stamp set in there in the cover and you know right where it is. Yeah, so. that's nice. And then you got half a pack of the Memories and More, the Bright and Beautiful Memories and More card pack. It includes a bunch of the little cards, which are super cute, the big ones, and then two sets of um, sticker sheets, stickers, um, yeah. which, you know, we always love a good sticker. So I will tell you with the stickers, 
Um, my little trick to make sure they actually come off the back is to kind of bend the paper where the sticker is. Um, Cause sometimes if you don't do that, the sticker will like kind of peel apart or come apart. So just, you know, bend the sticker sheet when you're gonna pull a sticker off and it'll come off. Perfect, so. So two sheets of stickers, Lots plenty of, of cards to choose from. Yes. And we have some samples to show you of what we've done with these cards. Yeah. And you can take it from there. It's lots of fun. And then you get 10 of the cards and envelopes. And the um, cards and envelopes have, the envelopes are one consistent design. So they're the bubbles. But then the cards have two different designs. There's one that has bubble bath and kind of a, what is that, ombre look, right? Mm -hmm. And then one that's a little more wild. Um, so... Here we go. So we've got Oh Happy Day um, and cute little card. And you're going to add your little ribbon bow there. Stickers, 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 right? Lots of stickers. Um, and then this one is from that one. And that has, is that a sticker as well? It is a sticker. Okay. It is a sticker. And then did you cut this down? This card? This, these are actually two cards that I cut and, glue, and put together to make one one piece, one sentiment piece. Nice, so. good. And then this one. Oh, we like one. this one. Uh, of course, two of the cards, the larger cards cut in half and then a few stickers along the way and cut this down with the saying on it. There is a card that has a blue star on it. You just simply fussy cut that and then add some, some embellishments. Nice. So. Love this uh, one. This one too. We love these balloons. They're so much fun. And and put some of this on dimensionals. Um, cut out. These are stickers. Then pieced together and some embellishment. Yeah, Beautiful colors. These colors just match so well. They you know. really complement each other. This is one of my favorites. <laughs> Another balloon card. And uh, again, pulling some of the stickers from your your sheets and then cutting out the larger balloon. Adding some embellishments. You're there. This is fussy cutting that's worth it, right? Mm -hmm. When it's that mm -hmm. cute. So, and then this one. This one took uh, one card that had the hip hip race on it, and then another piece uh, with the bubbles, as Melissa calls them, the bubbles on there, and a congratulations in the middle. So, just it really opens up your world when you think about just cutting some of these cards apart and seeing what else can happen with them. Yeah, for sure. And then punching them too. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, just some circle punches here and and putting it together. Very simple card, but a lot of fun. Yeah. Very colorful. I like that one a lot. And yay! And finally, yay, you can do this. And so again, just cutting some of the cards. This is a whole card, but then down, uh, cut out the yay, 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 and you can do this. And then we have this one. Fun. Yes, and we have one more. We do. I need to find it. <laughs> While Don't you're worry. looking, uh, this one is way to go. And really the bright uh, lemon color is right here. With, and I use the blue uh, embellishments on it. Way to go. And then down here, one of the stickers, congrats. So very fun. Well, there's a, another card. Card number 10 um, uses the... Uh, Yes. So it's the one that's going to use the acetate piece and it is not here whatsoever. It has gone uh, hiding. But that's okay. We'll find it eventually. Oh, there it is. There it is right on the desk. Oh, ha, ha, we there we go. Okay. So it uses the acetate piece on the card. And then before I put the acetate down, I made a little line with a little top for the disco ball because I really thought this one looked like a disco ball. <laughs> and um, and then this hip hip array is just laid down flat. And then I fussy cut the birthday out, the happy birthday, because I thought it was really cute. And that's up on dimensionals. And so is the um, disco ball. So there's definitely a party going on in yes, this car. Very happy card. Yes, that's a very happy <laughs> card. So. Um, good. Okay. So that's okay. our morning. So we'll, I'm going to take the card and then you want to take the supplies your way. And then, um, so in the morning, so, you know, you, um, you definitely need a trimmer, some scissors. Um, and, um, if you have some circle punches, that would be good for the circle punch. What size are these circle punches? Do we remember? I believe it's a two inch. 
for that one. And then uh, two and three eighths. Okay. So the, just the two new, yeah, the circle. The two new bunches. bunches. Yeah, that we have. Good. So then the afternoon features the stamp set circle sayings. And um, you're going to get a packet that has all four cards in it. So, uh, and then we'll show you the four cards. Um, we don't have to pack because I think they're pretty self-explanatory. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've got the full cards. And then um, the other thing we did in the in the afternoon class is we featured a few new embossing folders. So exposed brick. Um, so we already did this for you. So that's already been embossed. Um, and then the new twisted rope, which is really pretty. Yeah. Um, I really nice. like that one. Yeah. And then um, painted textures is the other one. And this one's been around a while, but it looks really nice. So we did that on three of them. And then a couple of them, we didn't do embossing. So we'll kind of talk you through that. So this is the Smoky Slate, not Smoky Slate, uh, Pebble Path card. And it has pretty peacock. You've got a little bit of the DSP. I use those blue, um, they say they're balmy blue, but I don't believe them. Um, and then I actually use the marker on this ocean one. So I used um, the new um, boho blue and wild wheat to marker this image when we stamp it. Um, and this has been punched for you already. And then I did the sentiment in Pebble Pass. So, um, so this one is really simple, but I think really pretty. Um, this one, it features a little bit of the wild wheat. We did it on very vanilla, which is kind of a different look. I think it gives the wild wheat a different tone. This is pebbled path and this is wild wheat. Um, and we just, you know, glued it down, put a little bit of, that's that new pecan pie. Pecan pie ribbon. Some of the ribbons, we've bragged about the embellishments, but the ribbons are gorgeous too. Yeah. So you'll we, get to see yeah, three of those. Yeah, we included some of those too. And this ribbon's just really pretty. It's really soft. Um, and then this is the um, mauve. Um, is it moody mauve? Moody. Okay. I was like, is it moody? Um, so we did one of that. And then this is actually stamped in Blackberry Bliss because that's the card base that we decided to go with. A little bit of DSP, a little bit of that painted what is it? Painted texture. Um, Painted textures. Yeah. Okay. Folder, which is really nice. So easy peasy. Uh, and then this one is on blueberry bushel. I thought this was a really nice masculine birthday card. Most of you know, masculine cards challenge me. So <laughs> I was happy to be able to get a masculine card made. Um, and I did use the blender pen um, on the, the icing part of the cupcake. I didn't use it on the bottom. I did use black for the sentiment. And then this sentiment is in blueberry bushel. That's in copper clay, copper clay. And then that new, um, what is this called? Braided? Braided. Yeah. Braided, Braided, Braided. trim. It's very nice and very masculine. So it doesn't make it feminine at all. And then the last one has that twisted rope folder, which is beautiful. It has the pebbled path. It uses the boho, um, Boho blue ink, boho blue paper, and then we did uh, misty moonlight misty for moonlight. the card base, and then that really beautiful misty moonlight braided trim. I think is what another it's another one of those beautiful trims that are in the catalog. Yeah, so. it's really pretty, and we used the decorative circle on this one. I call it the wavy circle. <laughs> um, I was like, "What does it really call?" And Susan's like, "The decorative circle." It's like, <laughs> okay, and I like doing just one of the sets of. Um, shells in the boho and then this is in pebbled path again um it is easier to line up one set and kind of nestle it in the the waves so to speak so um yeah so that's the in color afternoon so it features the daisy designer series paper but in a very subtle way um and hopefully gives you some exposure to the new colors because i know some of these colors have been a little controversial yes. um, and uh, and we, we might have some love, hate, hate relationships <laughs> with a few of them. And some of them are growing on us as yeah, well. Yeah. You know, when you use them and you use them to varying degrees of uh, size in your card, then they, they can really turn out beautifully, I think. Yes. I think uh, wild wheat is like gold, right? We should use it sparingly. Mm -hmm. um, but I also think when it has a good color, button, you know, when it yes. has a front. I think that, you know, blueberry bushel and copper clay look 
amazing together. And I mean, I like copper clay. I don't find it to be a controversial color, but when you have a buddy like that and they're both strong or when they're complimentary, like Boho and Misty Moonlight and they're friends together, yes. you know, the rich razzleberry in this, the early espresso and the wild wheat, I think looks nice. I really love the pretty peacock and the pebbled path, right? I think when we find these partners, these friends, these color friends, I think we get a really nice set of cards. So, so that's 15 cards in one day, nice. which is pretty amazing. So um, if you have questions, please let us know. If you're interested in coming to events in the future, let one of us know. Um, and um, we would love to have you join us, um, whether at home or, um, you know, in, in person. Um, and uh, yeah, thanks so much. Thank you so much. We, we are so thrilled you're on board with us. For sure. Thank you so much. We'll see you later. Bye.